Now that we've learned about essential camera movements, it's time to mix them up together and go a little bit more advanced. In this video, we're gonna see how we can put together different movements to achieve a better result. Now, because the combinations of these movements are almost unlimited, I won't be able to show you them all, but it's all about your creativity. I wanna give you the basics so that you understand that you can actually combine these movements and maybe create something that no one has ever done before. And now I want to show you a few examples and Lorena is going to help us today. So we're going to move more towards the reverse side and we're going to start from a static framing. I'm just going to stay still, not moving. We're going to have a simple composition. We're going to click record. Please Lorena, walk towards me. There you go. I'm using a 1x lens, normal, and then she's looking around a bit. Yeah, that's it. Nice. Now, in addition to Lorena walking within the frame, we're gonna add a movement and this is a boom. Remember, a boom is a vertical motion, so we're gonna start very low and then we're gonna go higher to reveal her face. So I'm gonna get ready and then I'm gonna go very low and I'm gonna ask Lorena to start walking. There you go, and then when she goes into frame, I'm slowly moving up and doing the boom motion. There you go. Now let's look at the footage back together. When Lorena is starting to walk, we're gonna start our vertical movement. There you go, revealing her face, and then she walks away and we reveal the sky. That's really nice, but we can do something better. We can try to track her. So while we do the booming up, we can start to move backward with her, maintaining the same distance between the iPhone and her face. So let's try it together. We're gonna start from this framing that's very low, then we're gonna click record on the video, and then we're gonna start walking. Yes, let's go and then slowly I'm booming up while tracking her at the same time. And that's it, I'm gonna stay a couple of seconds and hit stop. Very nice, now let's have a look at it together. We're starting from very low, she starts to walk and then I'm booming up to reveal her face. That looks amazing, I love it. As you can see, we added two movements together. The clip is more engaging, there is a little bit more suspense because you don't see her face at the beginning, but then with the moving and with the tracking, we have a very dynamic clip. Now let's make it a little bit more interesting and add a third movement. We're gonna track her, we're gonna boo, and we're also gonna try to pan a little bit. So I'm gonna stay very low, start on her feet, and then we're gonna start walking slowly. I'm gonna boom up a little bit, and then I'm gonna let her pass, stay on the side, pan a little bit, and then keep tracking on her side. That's really nice. Let's have a look at it together. Now she starts walking, there you go. Then I'm slowly moving up, and then she's also going on the side because I'm panning a little bit, and then I keep tracking her. That's really, really good. As you can see, adding three motions, we created a super dynamic clip, but don't worry because in case it gets too complicated, also combining just two movements will be enough to create an engaging clip. So now I wanna show you a few more examples on how we can combine two movements together to create very interesting clips. So come with me. For this example, I'm gonna ask Lorena to walk away and I'm gonna track her while also tilting the iPhone. So I'm gonna start with framing just the pavement so I don't see Lorena, and then I'm gonna ask her to stop walking right now, then I keep tracking her and slowly tilting up my iPhone so that I can see her walking and I reveal the scenery behind her. That looks amazing. Okay, we stop the video and let's have a look at it together. I'm gonna start from the pavement then slowly tilting up my iPhone and revealing her walk, her shadow and the scenery in front of her. That looks really, really good. In this example, we are gonna do a pan and a pull out at the same time. I'm gonna start very close to her sunglasses so that I can catch a little bit of the reflection around and then I'm gonna pan and then pull out afterwards. So let's try to do it together. I'm gonna go very close to her sunglasses like so. Then I'm gonna start recording a video, slowly do the pan and then 
pull out. There you go, very nice. Let's uh, have a look at it back together. I really love this portrait shot at the beginning because of the sunglasses, the reflection, the wind that is moving her hair. And then we're gonna pull out, there you go, to reveal the full body and also what she's looking at. That's really, really cool. Now we move to a different location to show you another example. And this time we're gonna try to combine four different movements together to create the most engaging and dynamic shot we can. We're gonna have a tilt, we're gonna have a pan, we're gonna have a track and also a push in. Now don't worry, it's not as complicated as you might think, but it does require a bit of thinking and a bit of planning. So now we're gonna ask Lorena again to do a little walk towards the riverside and then I'm gonna do all the movements and I'm gonna explain exactly what I'm doing. Okay, now Lorena, we're gonna do a little walk very slowly towards the riverside and when you arrive at the end, you're gonna look a little bit towards your left so that I can take a little bit of your face. So the first movement is a tilt up and then I'm gonna start tracking her and moving a little bit on the left. So we're just gonna have a full pavement on the frame. There you go, we're gonna start recording. I'm gonna ask Lorena to start walking slowly. Then I'm gonna tilt up a bit, pan, Keep tracking, same distance between me and her, and when she arrives there, I'm gonna push in to reveal what she's looking at. And stop. That's a very nice clip. Let's have a look at it back together. We have the pavement, we have the texture, we have the movement at the beginning. Now we're tilting up to showcase her walk, her full body. Then when she arrives, we are panning a little bit and pushing in to reveal what she's looking at. All of this while also tracking. I think it looks amazing. I'm super happy with it. When we talk about advanced camera movement, sometimes it gets a bit complicated. I just wanna let you know that all these videos that we've seen were not achieved in the first trial. It actually took me a couple of tries before achieving the video that I had in my mind. I cannot stress enough how important it is to practice practice, practice. It's all about trying different movements. If you want to have a little bit more engaging clips, a little bit more dynamics, you can try to combine multiple things together. We've tried with two movements, we tried with three movements, we also tried with four movements. So it's totally up to you reading your situation and seeing what kind of camera movement is the most ideal for a certain scenario. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm going to see you in the next one. This preview of the iPhone Video Academy offers a sneak peek into the incredible world of iPhone videography. Get ready to unlock the secrets, techniques and skills that will transform your videos into works of art. But wait, there's more. In the full course, you embark on an immersive learning journey covering every aspect of iPhone videography. From mastering camera techniques to refining your editing skills, the iPhone Video Academy has it all. Don't miss this chance to become a true iPhone videography expert. You'll find the link in the description right under this video. Click on that link to find out more about iPhone Video Academy and I'll see you inside the full course.